With over 38 years of extensive experience in airline management and operations, Mesfin Teso, the chief executive officer of Ethiopian Airlines Group, brings a wealth of knowledge to the table. His expertise spans various sectors, including aircraft maintenance and engineering, procurement, information technology, flight operations, and corporate leadership. In this exclusive interview with Capital Mesfin discusses Ethiopian Airlines' strategies to navigate the global aviation challenges, particularly during the COVID-19 pandemic, and outlines the company's future in African aviation, investments, sustainability, technology, and the Vision 2035 goals. We have uh, signed the agreement with a few companies, including ETO Post. Okay. So this is something that uh, we, we, we are going to develop further. Technology and innovation are uh, uh, inseparable parts of the air transport industry. We have, we have no choice uh, if we want to succeed in our business operation. Uh, we have to continuously adapt with emerging technologies. We have to incorporate innovation continuously in our operation, in, in our operating processes. One area, obviously, uh, where we implement technology is the aircraft itself. As I said earlier, we are in the forefront of using latest technology airplanes. The second one is uh, on how ma we maintain aircraft. Traditionally, we used to use traditional methods, paper-based maintenance control and the traditional maintenance practice. But now the technology has evolved that. We don't plan to fix problems on airplanes when they fail, but we want to do proactively. Uh, there are uh, emerging technologies that enable us to continuously monitor the health of the aircraft systems as they fly in real time. Today we already do that. When the 787 is flying between here and, for example, Beijing, it takes it 11, 12 hours. From the moment the aircraft starts engine here until it reaches in Beijing, we continuously monitor the health of the aircraft. There is a continuous stream of data from the aircraft systems. And we know if something goes wrong, we know it. Uh, that is um, an interesting technology that we have adopted. The third and very important area is the uh, digital customer service. The trend now is that uh, to empower passengers, they can uh, go to the internet and uh, uh, search for the preferred airline, the preferred flight, and uh, they can buy their ticket online, and they can check in from home for their flight. They don't have to line up here. They can just check in from home, come to the airport, and uh, just board the aircraft. And while they are flying, they always remain connected to the world. And we have introduced uh, what we call internet connectivity on most of our airplanes. So as you fly, you can see your emails, you can send uh, messages and so on. Uh, so this is what we call digital customer service. The, the customer will be served digitally from the beginning to the end. Uh, there are other several technologies that we are implementing and more to be done. Particularly at the airport, we have to work closely with uh, other stakeholders, like immigration. Now immigration, you have to uh, go to the immigration, show your passport, your visa, and we want to, there are new technologies emerging that use um, 
single identity where your identity will be in the database and when you appear there, the mm. camera will scan your face and recognize you, uh, who you are, and you just pass. These are emerging technologies that uh, we have not yet implemented, but uh, we have to do. In summary, Ethiopian Airlines will have to continuously adopt new technologies uh, to remain competitive uh, in its operation. Yes, that plan is still uh, active. Uh, the Bole Airport has served this airline so far. Uh, with the recent expansions, it can carry up to 25 million passengers per year. That, that is the estimated capacity. This year, we, last year we carried 13.9 million passengers through this airport. This year, we aim to reach uh, 18 million passengers. If we continue with this growth, in two years' time, we will be at 25 million. Maybe in two years or less than two years. So it will be congested. Uh, moving away or building a new airport hub is a necessity. And the selected place is um, a farmland just next to Bishof too. Uh, we are in discussion with uh, Oromia Regional State to secure the land. Uh, there are several passengers uh, farming on the land and they have to be resettled. We have to create uh, their livelihood uh, in their new settlement. Uh, th that has been studied and we have the report. We are uh, going to discuss on how we want to implement that. As soon as we resettle the, the farmers, we are uh, going to proceed with construction of the new mega hub airport, which uh, will have four times the capacity of this airport, means 100 million uh, passengers per year. It will be probably the largest airport in Africa. So yes, uh, we are going to uh, embark on that. Ethiopian Airlines has a 15-year strategic roadmap, a long-term plan. Uh, we call it Vision 2035. This document outlines where we need to be, what to achieve by 2035. But it also specifies what to achieve at the end of each year until we reach 2035. So we have a clear vision, we have a clear strategy where to be, when. And uh, by 2035, we would like to be an airline that, OK, in terms of vision, we wanted to be one of the 20 global airlines by enhancing our operation. And more specifically, we wanted to uh, or we aim to uh, realize, in terms of revenue, $25 billion per year. Today, this year, we are planning to achieve $7 billion. Means we would like to grow three times in the coming 11 or 12 years. We would like to expand our fleet from the current 140 plus to 271 means we would like to double the fleet. Uh, today we fly to 136, 137 
international destinations. We wanted to increase this to 209 international destinations. Uh, and uh, we wanted to quadruple the cargo that we carry today uh, from 740,000 tons per year to 3 million tons of cargo per year. So we have a very aggressive growth plan. But to reach there, there are key milestones that we have to achieve every year. Uh, to achieve this goal, our strategies are anchored on five pillars. As I said earlier, the first one is fleet. We have to continue enhancing our fleet in terms of number and the technology. We have to continue investing in infrastructure, cargo facilities, aircraft maintenance facilities, airport facilities, even hospitality like the hotel that we have, we, we have today. So in, we will continue investing in infrastructure. The third one is uh, human capital. Today we operate, our, uh, we have around 17,000 employees, highly trained professionals. This is expected to double by 2037. So it means every year we have to hire, train, and uh, make them join our existing workforce. We are expanding our aviation academy to train more professionals, pilot, technician, cabin crew, uh, sales force people. Uh, that is the third one. The fourth one is systems. Systems means information technology uh, and innovations in our operation to achieve operational excellence continuously. The fifth one is what we talked about, sustainability. So we are going to invest more on these pillars to drive our strategy and realize our key milestones in our strategy. This is where, are we, where we are going and what we want to achieve.